Hi guys, my name is Eric. Thank you so much for being here. This is your first time. And if you're returning, well, thank you for coming back. Um, I will be posting, if you are new here, I will be posting every day for forever until I die. Um, so hopefully you join this little cult that is growing. Um, so for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the James Charles palette. I know it's got a lot of controversy behind it. I don't care. This palette is really good. Um, I'm starting this new series on my channel where I talk about my top five favorite shades and why. Um, this palette is honestly kind of amazing. I feel like this palette is like one of the few that you, if you could only choose like five palettes this is like one of them or i think so uh that's a whole another different video uh today i will be talking about oh if you guys do want to see something like that about like me explaining like the top five favorite palettes in the whole world and why let me know below but for this one i will be sorry um talking about my five favorite shades from this and why so let's start off with one before I would do them in order but honestly that was like confusing me too much so I, was, I just decided that I'm gonna do this instead so I'm just gonna choose five random ones it's not like one two three four five it's kind of just scattered everywhere so the first one that I can think off the top of my head is probably this black one this black one is pretty hardcore um even compared to like luxury brands that I've tried like Pat McGrath um what else this black is kind of insane and it has more instant payoff than most um blacks do and for the price point it's kind of extremely really good so there's a black one and then as you can tell I still have a little bit more on my finger um I use this one for Halloween a lot uh this one you can it works better if you pat it down but I guess that's with most of these pigments uh, number four is probably gonna be this purple one it's this one is the only one of its kind in this palette it's more of like a clear glitter compared to let's go with let's try something like so this is like a gold right this is a gold metallic but if you can tell oh I guess it's kind of hard but this gold has like pigment of itself. This purple one does not. I tried putting it over. Oh, I'm over here spitting. But I tried putting this uh, purple one over my lid over like a regular day. But it didn't really come up as I thought it would. Versus let's see if it'll show on here. So that is the gold. Yeah, you can see that. And then the purple one. I'll put it right there. Let's put this palette down. Do you see that? It This one is like more sparkly than this one. This one's just more like metal. This one is like glitter. Glitter particles. Like the way they catch light is completely different. Uh, okay, so we got the black one, the purple glittery one. Uh, another one. Oh. I know. It's gonna be hold on. Um it is gonna oh my gosh, I can't even tell. Let's see. Okay, so it's gonna be let me see. I don't even know how to hold it. Um this one right here. Or this big one right here. Right this. The reason why it's my favorite or one of my favorites is because the shade is like a perfect banana powder for people with my skin tone. If you're wondering what skin tone I am, I'm more of like um like a yellowish warm sand. Like a bunch of foundation shades, a bunch of foundation shades and like concealers say sand on it, and that's usually the color that I am. This yellow powder is perfect for, like, putting it right under the eye if you forgot your powder at home. That's why this is one of the reasons I love this palette. And you can build this color up 
or you can shear it down as much as you want. But I like going in with a little bit, and it really brightens the eye if, if that's something that I'm feeling that day. So we have one, two, three. Um, I already got my other two. One is going to be this one. This is like, um, I always call it a dusty rose color. It's one of my favorite colors. It kind of has like, um, like a muted, what do you even call it? It's like if you suck the life out of a color red, this is what's left of it. It's just kind of, I'd call it like a sad red. And then, um, so I really like this color because I really like putting red under the lash line, but some days I'm not feeling to go super hardcore with red, so I'll go with that one. It gives me that like, I don't even know how to call it, like a sickly color, but I, I feel that one. And then another one, it's literally the same reason as that one. It's just, um, actually, I'm going to add one more in here because... Mm. Well, I guess no. I was just going to say it's this one because it gives me like the same vibe of this. It's not like as red as I would want it to, but I'm not going to do that one. I'm actually going to do this one just because I, I've i been doing this lately a lot and I do like it. I use this to fill in my brows with like, um, like one of the brushes that's like the little angled brushes for your eyebrows. I've been dipping into this to like fill them in. And then, if I want, like, because I like the edge to be sharp, I would go in with this one. And if I want the tail to be a super duper sharp, I'll probably go in with the barely, barely any black. But these two, I really like using for my brow. Um, so that's super cool. And then, that is going to be the end for this video. Plus, this palette is ginormous. And I usually, I carry this palette in my backpack. Uh, and I carry my backpack everywhere because I'm, you never know where you're going to be, you know? This happens a lot. I'm always moving around, either my boyfriend's house, my dad's house, my best friend's house. I'm just all over the world. So there's that. And I think uh, that is it for the palette. Hopefully you guys found this video beneficial. Uh, if you did and you want to keep up with me a little bit more, uh, I do have a TikTok. Uh, I do looks. It's going to be Eric Quesada 8. And then I also have an Instagram. It's Eric Nerd. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.